Good morning, everyone. This is Jordan, and we're going to check out Bitcoin and XRP today. Um, starting with Bitcoin, I suppose this is a follow up of the previous two videos. And if you did not watch them, I'm going to post the links below in the description. But if you did, you probably understand that what I'm looking for is a potential end of this uh, bullish move here. Let me just set this thing up. So basically starting from the weekly chart, we can see that there is already bearish pressure. And my initial projection was 72 up to 75 or so. Right, this is where uh, LED waves were leading me slightly above the zone. However, the chart doesn't really agree at that stage. It actually says that we're pretty much um, finished here. Okay. Well, let's say 80, 90% is already confirmed. I'm just waiting for one tiny bit of confirmation. I'm going to tell you exactly what this confirmation is in just a few seconds. But starting from a uh, weekly chart, we have the divergence, we have the structures here, we have the false breaks. And then we go to the lower time frame where we can find once again the divergences. And this time, however, we can see there is a convergence here, which in practice is a reversal pattern. So the question is, are we still in wave three pullback and then another push up? And this is turning into some sort of false break or not. And the way I'm going to deal with this is because I don't want to be guessing, right? I'm not good in uh, casino games and all this stuff, right? I'm not very lucky. So I need to work with facts, guys. And if I have this uh, a reversal pattern and the higher time frame is suggesting that this could be the end of it, I should consider it. So the way I'm going to do that is very simple. I will wait. Now it seems like we're forming a bottom here, okay? Before we move on, let me just remind you about our Black Friday offer. You're saving 25%. As you can see, 14 hours left until the end of the promotion. And what Platform X does is pretty much it could be integrated with any trading strategy out there. And it does what? 99% of the traders are missing to do. And this is multi time frame analysis and putting the whole idea of trading together, which is um, looking at the bigger picture, the multi time frame analysis, looking at the volatility, looking at the goals, looking at the risks, trade management, risk management, all that put together in a single place. Thank you. Let's go back to the Bitcoin analysis. And it could be a false break, but for a false break, I would expect it to turn here or here. We already pushed to the downside too much. So my idea is very simple. I need to see how the price action develops right here. And if we start getting something like this, like this and the move is not very strong, and the move suggests that we're going to hold anywhere inside this zone even actually slightly lower right and if we start stopping and slowing down i'm referring to the four hour chart here then i will be probably cashing out i'm talking about the long-term investment holding kind of situation all right that's it because this is already 63 64k yeah it's 10k below the target but it's still very good okay if you're involved from lower levels most of the times 99.9 percent .9 of the times you will not be able to get the top and the bottom the actual top and the actual bottom right you can be getting it very very close to that but it's never going to be the actual top or the actual bottom right it's almost impossible you gotta be lucky so that's uh my plan for the exit Alternatively, if the move here starts developing in a strong, impulsive manner, all right, and we don't show any signs that this is going to be ending, there is no need to cut it. Let it let it work, right? Simply let it work and let's see where it takes us. But basically, what we're having here on this part 
is very similar to this one. I know not everyone watching this video is technical analyst. I know you are not following my ideas. You don't know how I'm trading. But basically what's happening is very similar to this one. So this is called convergence. And once this happens, the idea is to wait for pullbacks and then look for continuation down. So if we can refer to this part of the chart, you can see how initially the price started moving up, right? And then right here, somewhere in the middle of it, we started slowing down right here. And then you have breakouts and then the price is dropping like a rock. So this is exactly what I need to see. Is it going to develop like this initial push down and then up? So imagine you're looking for a sell, all right? That probably uh, makes more sense. Imagine you're looking for a sell from here and then you start following the price to give yourself setup. This one, at least for me, doesn't give me any sell setups here. Even if I go with the most aggressive one, which is a simple trend line breakout, we have a new high, right? We're, we're breaking. This sell setup is invalidated. On the other hand, if you take a look at this one, it could be like this, it could be like this. In any case, you will be getting the sell setup somehow, right? Because simply the price moved lower. So this is more or less what I'm looking for. I really hope that this uh, past performance of the price here is giving you a very clear idea of what I'm looking for. Those are the two scenarios. It actually makes a lot of sense and I think it makes it much more easier to understand. So if that's the case, what do we do? Well, this is for, for the long term, uh, for those of you holding Bitcoin and for those of you who believe we're at the end of the bull, right? I know there are people believing that still on this one, we're going to 100K, 200K, whatever. If that's one of you, I know thumbs down are going in this video and nasty comments probably. And you simply don't like what I'm saying. No problem, hold your position. There should be different opinions on the market. So there could be a market, right? Someone should be willing to sell. Someone should be willing to buy in order to have a market. But when it comes to the shorter term, uh, I think that we could be actually looking for buys. Why? Because what I'm expecting, the least I'm expecting from the market at that stage is to see at least a double wave. Okay, that could be this, that could be that. Could be this, could be that, right? They're all double waves here, depending on which time frame you're going to look at them. But the, the principle is that after this push down, I'm expecting to see at least a correction up to these levels and then down or breakout and continuation. So the one thing that I'm expecting for sure is to see the price moving up, right? The current state where we are where we are at the moment is suggesting that we have one more push up after that push up we will see how the price is developing whether this is going down or up but i'm expecting this to happen so what's up with that well if we go to the lower time frames we can see this multiple uh let me just mark the swing low here we can see the multiple false breaks and the divergences and boom finally we are getting right here we're getting this breakup right now just for a second i don't think i have it do i have it anyhow um after this push look what's happening we have this so the idea is to look for pullbacks and continuations to the upside all right consolidation fail to continue to the downside it's pushing upwards now what you can do here is draw lines horizontal and draw levels like this this is a retest at the moment this is a very nice level right let me just open uh, another chart i'm not sure All right, it's authenticated. So check this out now. Four hour chart, supply demand. Look where it is. You see that? We can actually mark it from down here to up here. You see? 
And at the moment, we are in this zone, which means if the price gives a tiny pullback, we can be actually looking for pullbacks and buys here up to the zone. Now from that zone, as we said, the price will decide what will happen. But I believe short term, we are getting a good opportunity to look for uh, buys here. All right, this is about Bitcoin. If you have any questions, drop a comment. I will be glad to reply. On the other hand, we have a ripple now for ripple what am i doing not this this for ripple the idea guys in my opinion at least is kind of simple let me just go to the default 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 here remove all right so my initial anticipation let's say the way i imagine this happening after this move up was that we're going for a range which meant if uh yeah range exactly consolidation of some sort something like this which meant this low must be holding somehow magically bitcoin found the bottom at the moment this one couldn't break below right but Bitcoin found the bottom and now we're starting to push up. Again, things, things are fitting magically somehow, but it is happening. Alternative scenario for this was to see a double wave, which meant a break below here and the price going somewhere below that zone, right? Whatever the 100% duplication would be. So first scenario, which made more sense based on the previous price action was this. And as we can see, it looks like we're looking and finding a bottom here as well. And if I go to the lower time frames, actually, I want to show you the one hour chart where the more interesting things are happening. This is the first divergence, and then you have double bottom with divergence, and then you have a breakout of this zone and that zone. And those two levels they are pretty strong okay this is the the one that we're referring to right here this was broken which means the least i would be expecting is something like that to happen so probably in the very very short term for this if it's going to be developing into an impulse we're likely going to see tiny pullbacks and another push up to here most likely from that point, we're going to see a pullback and then continuation up to the daily zone. So if this is our range, of course, what we're looking for is for the price to move up and reach this zone right here. So while we're looking at it from daily perspective, it doesn't look like a lot, it's only 30 some cents, right? 98 something up to 20, no, was that 29? Here we have 20, right? So maybe even less, less than 30 cents to this zone. But on the lower time frames, if we manage to get it with a tiny stop loss, that turns into a massive risk to order ratio trade. So we can be easily getting one to two, one to three one to four, depending on how you're going to play your cards. And as we said, short term, it already shows uh, signs of this reversal. We got the uh, convergence as well. So I think buying here makes a lot of sense, guys, for both of them short term. Now, what's going to happen in the longer term for the um pretty much general analysis using bitcoin as a leading indicator here this is a different story right so we have short term plan we have longer term plan for the investment and we just need to wait and attack all right i hope this is not too long i don't know how many minutes is it already um if you have any questions again let me know guys and i'm wishing you a fantastic week ahead bye for now